All right, guys, welcome again, folks, and thank you for attending this meeting. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is going to um, be your budget presentation Zoom meeting. Okay, it's um, 10.07. We'll go ahead and get started at 10.07 a.m. This is being recorded. Um, this also will be on the website um, later this evening for you to actually view at your leisure. Um, we're also on 732. So if some of you guys want to turn on your TV channel to 732, <clears throat> excuse me, we are on there as well. Okay. Um, let's begin started with your assessments. Okay. Uh, which is 40, 40, 10. This number is based on the calculated 5,000 homes that we closed. That's going to change already, guys. At this time, we are at 5,003. Okay, so it's going to change um, slightly. Um, total build out number as of now, okay, is going to be at um, 5453. Um, so that was just updated as well. Um, the working capital fees, um, that is for new home sales, which this was in place a few years ago at 2,000 per home. Okay, as stated before, the income does go to the operating expense. Okay. Um, you know that, um, well, again, it, it's on their note that once developer is fully built out, this un income will no longer be available, right? Um, the developer assessments, what we did here, um, this is what the, the expense is for the developer on those planned units that are still left to build, okay? So again, once the developer has built their last home, okay, they're at last lot, that GL line item, um, that income will no longer be there. Okay, because all those 400, et cetera, homes will be occupied by owners. Okay, um, the resale transfer fees, again, um, these are transfer fees with the resales, homes that are here already, um, also are going to be used in the operating um, side of it. Um, the RV storage facility, um, that is behind um, the Arigio, um, next to um, the fire station on the east side. That's where we have um, 60 spaces. Um, which we are looking to um, revamp and upgrade more um, than what it currently is. Um, I do have a meeting pending with the club as well regarding that. Um, again, your 40, 46, 10, that's basically your um, reserve study. That, that's where we have all the, um, the transfers over to your reserve fund. That is based on the reserve study that we do, okay? Um, same thing, we have a different reserve for the actual courtyards. Um, so they pay separately um, into that reserve, which is, um, as you can see, reserve for painting fully funded um, until 2027. So that's when, because of the courtyards, the courtyards are the only homes in Sol Vida that the HOA does pressure wash once a year. Same thing with the roofs. We do a soft wash with the tile roofs, and then we actually paint every seven years. Okay, and that project is coming up here um, early January. Um, going down to your administrative expenses, your bad debt expense, again, we allocate 500 per month for unpaid assessments, okay? Um, the bank service um, charges, we don't typically charge or we don't typically budget for that in your budget line item. Um, this is the big one that we had the discussion earlier this year around June, August, if you guys recall. The um, under 50-5120, this is gonna be your, um, your insurance. As you know, the $12.58 that you pay right now, that is for the insurance assessment due to the increase in the renewal premium. As many of you guys know, we are trying to stay ahead uh, with many repairs, a lot of grinding um, with the vendors. Um, our money goes, our money can be stretched out further if we do grinding, okay? Instead of removing and replacing complete sections, the grinding does go a lot longer, does stretch a lot better for us. Okay, there are some sections, unfortunately, that you will see get completely removed and uh, report back in. And the reason being, guys, is that when you grind down and there's only so much material left of that concrete, um, it actually becomes a hazard because if you get weight on that, it cracks off because there's not enough thickness left of concrete material, okay? Um, so that's what we're trying to do, stay ahead of that. So that is your um, new number based and um, projected for next year, um, pending a 6% budget increase for the renewal coming up in June of 2022. Um, the contingency fund that also was recommended, um, which we have up there, um, three average cases per year, uh, which is um, 50,000 per incident, okay? Vehicle insurance, 
The vehicle insurance that this covers is the director of association site services. Um, he has the white truck out here. Um, you've seen him doing soft wash. You've seen him replacing signs out there. Um, excuse me. You've seen him um, doing um, light replacements at the monuments, especially recently just at the Victoria um, West and the Vestrella East signs. Okay, so that's going to be the insurance that um, they, he actually covers. Mileage reimbursement. Did this did increase from last year, folks. And the reason being, we do have uh, increase in staff. Um, we now have um, three full inspectors that are actually here out there um, driving their vehicles. And that's the only time they get reimbursed is when they use their own personal vehicles um, and actually do the violations, follow-up inspections for painting, et cetera. Um, computer printers and software. We do have a new server coming in for um, our LPR system, which if you guys recall, we did do a massive update um, with the coding that actually helps um, and allow access in. Uh, we also are doing a few updates on the handicap um, plates. We're also doing the um, veterans um, plates. And the one that we are digitally working on is your Disney plates. Um, the um, Convergent, who is the software company. Um, they were unaware that the Disney plates, I believe it's their anniversary plates, uh, which I sent out an email blast out a few weeks ago about that. Um, if you can hold off for now, okay, and do not purchase um, the Disney plates. Um, it's not that I don't want you buying Disney plates. It's that right now, the um, cameras, the software itself, it does not pick it up. It's just a combination that he has with the purple and the gold um, lettering, it does not allow for pickup, okay? But we are working with that with Convergent. Um, they are scheduled to come out um, later this year again um, and work with a few residents that have those specialty plates to actually um, make them um, get better reads and to allow them to get better access coming through the gates, okay? Um, office supplies, um, 43, that stayed the same as last year. Um, this is your typical stuff. Um, supplies needed, toner expenses, um, pens, pa um, pads, et cetera. Um, let me, sorry about that. A little, a little touchy. Um, document storage, that is where we have all the documents that we have stored right now. It's at the storage place um, right next to Lowe's um, on the north side of Lowe's. That's where we have all the documents stored. Um, and we have, I believe, one full room right now, and we're actually getting, um, looking into getting another room um, for that. Um, Closures and copies, these are all the copies that we do the um, welcome packets, the annual notice and the meetings, et cetera. That's all we budget for the coupons that were coming out um, next year. Um, this is what this line item covers. Um, CPA, the annual audit um, on 50, 51, 56. Um, there you go. There you go. Um, your reserve study, which we talked about already, that's under 50, 51, 58. Um, that's, we got to make sure that we have an updated reserve study to um, our assessments and reserve fund um, up to date, okay? Um, salaries and wages, this was um, a few questions that you guys did submit um, regarding this. You, because of the increase, again, because of the increase starting next year, I'm very grateful. We actually are going to have a full-time ma maintenance technician on site five days a week, 40 hours. Um, so that way actually save, this is gonna save us money in the long run because we no longer have to hire a vendor or, or seek outside vendors to do electrical work, minor electrical work, to do um, um, light repairs, to do monument stucco patch. Um, we can actually have um, Nigel McCullough who is the director of the Association of Site Services um, and also the maintenance technician can handle those. So a lot quicker turnaround guys, we're gonna have um, repairs done sooner um, than later, which is a big topic. Um, so that is why you're, um, you, you do see the increase from 402 this year to around 456 projected next year, okay? Um, it is a very competitive uh, um, hiring field, which I'm sure most of you know. Um, so we plan to get, we already have somebody in mind that hopefully Great experience, overall great experience as a maintenance technician. Um, hopefully uh, we do keep that plan and that person can start here early next year. 
um, payroll and tax benefits under 50-51-63. Um, that is 30% of the burden rate for processing and benefits, okay? Um, that's straight across 32%. Um, training, this is training for um, staff um, regarding IT, um, first aid and CPR. We do have on-site staff that is under um, CPR training and first aid training as well, which I'm sure you guys have seen those email communications that were sent out um, a few months ago. Um, so our staff does that as well. Um, so of course, under 505165, your licenses and fees, um, it covers your Florida's annual filing fee, licenses, taxes of the association, et cetera. Um, RV facility expenses, it's actually, we have um, some upgrades and maintenance that we have to do. We did a very slight upgrade with the asphalt millions. Uh, we do need new signage. We do need um, new um, border markers as well, which that's going to be going into um, next year um, under this line item. Um, decorations. Um, the vendor that we actually have, um, because we've been with them for a few years, um, we also use them uh, across the club as well. They give us a 26000 budget um, for next year instead of the 30000 so we thank them for that. These are for all the Christmas decorations going on through all the monuments, the entrances, um, throughout the actual solar be the common grounds, okay? Um, web website expense, this is self-explanatory under 50, 52, 45. Um, this is basically your night item for IT support and web hosting and monitoring. Um, what these guys do in the background, I'm, I'm always impressed, uh, which some of you residents already know. Um, how the way they work with coding and et cetera, guys, it's just amazing. I mean, I would be absolutely be lost without the support that we get from them. Um, the 50, 52, 55, this is your neighborhood representative council, um, which as you guys know, it, it did drop. I thank that team for that as well. Um, this is to support the captain's program with the administrative and legal um, side of it um, and also do any kind of startups. The repairs and maintenance. Um, under 60, 60, 10, the common area repair maintenance, it did stay at 48,000. Um, the benches that um, I assured the Bellaviana community, um, those are, are here, um, which is ready for floor on to actually the landscaper, um, do a some sod beds and then put mulch, and then we're going to go ahead and get those benches installed for you guys. Um, so thank you for your patience on that. Um, we do have one adding four more benches this year. Um, unfortunately, there were several several requests guys um from several residents and i do thank you for that but there are so many areas that um a lot of us um as residents want to see benches at um, and we just have to pick um certain areas where it's best for everyone um and also not in someone's front yard not in someone's backyard so we try to 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 um, um keep that in mind when we do install these benches um, the under 60, 60, 11, um, that is your AED replacement and maintenance. Okay, this does cover um, 73, I think we're at 76 now, if I'm not mistaken, AEDs across the community. Um, on your Solar Vita map that you have, um, if not, we can get you one. Um, do, do have them marked out throughout the whole entire areas. If you do have the application on your smartphone, it also shows you exactly where they are. Okay, we do have staff that oversees maintenance and checks through each AED um, to make sure they are all operating um, fine and, and are ready to be used, God forbid, if they do have to be used. Okay, um, irrigation repairs. Um, this is something that we're working on very diligent with our landscaper, um, baseline software, et cetera. The reason they stay the same, um, there were quite a few questions about that. Um, from the newer communities around from 2014 on to now, okay? So you got your Victoria, your Brasilia, um, your Victoria East, Australia, Alta Vista, et cetera. All you guys now have baseline, okay? That, that baseline is your top of the line irrigation system. That allows us to use less controllers, um, basically less equipment. Um, it does work off of the cloud system. So that's why we can actually have less, keep that budget the, the same. Um, and your irrigation system is newer. Um, you're not going to have major mainline blows like you do have in the older sections. Okay. Um, that's why that line item stayed the same. Oh, apologize about that. 
um, landscape replacement. Um, this 60, 60, 40 year landscape replacement, it is projected to be the same um, as well. Um, this is something that we worked very closely with the landscaper. Um, they are, if you guys notice, which many of you new homeowners have, um, your landscape is a little different. It, it, it varies from species. And the reason being is over the years, we, we developed this plant palette. Okay, that plant palette, though it's not as flowery or it's not as tropical or lush as the previous um, communities have um, had installed years ago, this is better landscape for the, for the grounds that we have, for the soil types that we have. And working closely with the landscaper as they are the professionals, um, they did narrow it down to, to basic landscape. Again, not as colorful, not as showy, but it is going to give you um, the better durability in the soils that we have. Okay. Um, 60, 60, 45, that is your, um, your Directive Association Site Services. That's a vehicle maintenance for that. Um, this covers the whole routine of that vehicle. Um, your oil changes, your tire rotations, your um, new tires when it's time to get new tires. Uh, we just had him um, go in a shop with the vehicle. It covered um, the um, tire balancing, which it did need a tire balance um, to the vehicle. Just try and keep it up to date as much as we can. Um, the 606130 repair and maintenance asphalt and walkways. This did increase slightly from 60,000 to 78,000 from this year to next year. Reason being, again, I stated earlier when we first started the meeting, um, we are doing the majority of uh, repairs. We're doing it as grinding. Okay. We're removing that tripping hazard completely by grinding and having a smooth transition from one section of the sidewalk to the other. Okay. So that does help tremendously, guys. I can't state that enough. It does help quite a bit by helping our dollars go further. Okay, um, so that's a, a great, a great benefit. Um, animal trapping, um, it did go slightly um, down um, um, from 11,100 to 10,800. The reason being our trapper that we have, which has been here for over uh, five years, if I'm not mistaken, maybe, maybe longer. Um, he actually has um, starting to install hog traps that actually um, only need to be baited um, every few um, weeks instead of every single week. This does save us in the long run as well. So again, it's just ways that we're looking um, to, to actually just see where we can um, save money, uh, where we can make our dollars stretch further, okay? Um, tree removals under 60, 61, 50. Um, this is for your um, preserved cutbacks. Um, which recently we have visited with quite a few residents, which you, um, as I stated to you in person, you are scheduled for next March um, to get these cutbacks done. This is when the conservation wooded areas, when all that um, um, species of wooded, um, either weeds or trees or scrub oaks um, or um, wax myrtles, are coming over from the conservation side onto your property. That way we actually cut them back to the original line and do vertical cuts. And we get all that debris moved away. Okay, this isn't your wetland mitigation, so don't get the two confused. The trim, um, the tree trimming removals under 60, 61, 50, that is for the um, conservation woods that are encroaching over onto your property or on top of common area property to where it prevents the actual landscaper from providing their services. Okay, that's what that covers. Uh, we already have sections uh, marked off for early next year around March. Okay, the next one, this is your under 60, 61, 65. This is your wetland mitigation. Okay, this is where we go in there um, and we do, I'm oh, sorry about that again. Um, oh, come on computer. I apologize, folks. This is performed by Earth Balance. It's not Floralon. Um, we get the confusion that it's Floralon who is a landscape service provider. This is this service is provided by Earth Balance, who is certified through the state of Florida and the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, they go out there and they, they perform. There's the guys that you see um, with the with the backpacks on, with the vest, with the long um, high heel boots. Um, they go out there to the wetlands, walk in the wetlands, and spray any invasive species to keep that under control, uh, which is a requirement by the Army Corps of Engineers. 
um, gate maintenance repairs, we did go down. And this is something that if you recall at our last meeting is something that I um, brought to your attention that it was gonna go down even further because the majority of the gate mounts, the motors um, that we have at each location, at each entry and exit side, um, those were all replaced and revamped and upgraded with new ones. Okay, so that has paid off quite a bit. Um, so that's why we're able to go down more on that. Um, under 606180 repairs and maintenance signage, um, we already have 25, um, close to 30 now um, with the street names, traffic signs, guys, speed signs that we're doing. Um, we're going to have a massive one a replacement program um, early, um, middle of first quarter um, is when we're going to do this. Um, the way um, questions came in regarding that is how can we stay or how can we get at a great discount price? Well, as many of you do know with the background that you guys have, when you get a project together, and when you do a, a massive order at all one time, those vendors actually can give you a, a great discount because you do that all one time. Instead of doing two or three signs per month, you're getting that discount up front because you're only paying one delivery charge, one shipping cost. Majority of times that with the vendors that we have, they actually give us um, free shipping when we have those massive bulk um, orders coming in. Um, street cleaning, if you guys noticed, um, this is a little confusing, okay? I got quite a bit of questions regarding that. The developer, Taylor Morrison, in their communities where, they're on, where there's ongoing construction, okay? They have their own street, street sweeper, uh, okay? They have their own vendor that comes out here every Tuesday um, that goes through the streets, um, picks up as much debris, sweeps it to the side. Um, so they do that. It's a, typically, it's an orange machine, okay? This right here, the street cleaning for us, actually covers to where we hire someone to go to the older communities. And over time, as you guys know, settlement and debris does pile up on the side of the street curbs on the Miami curbing. Um, you can't just blow that off, which um, the landscapers do. It doesn't come off that easy. That requires um, to be manually removed by shovels, um, put in the back of a truck and disposed of. So that's, this is what that covers, okay? Typically, when we do it is March, October, and December. It's coming up here shortly. The reason being, being why we do that, if you guys notice, which I'm sure you have, a lot of acorns right now are starting to fall. Or you're starting to see them. You're starting to walk on them on your driveway, et cetera. That's to also help eliminate and pick that debris up as much as we can. Because that's what your 60, 61, 90 covers. Um, the next line item, which is your 60, 6300, that's your termite control. This is only for the courtyard homes, okay? Um, this is um, a contractor, Massey, um, has given us a, a great discount. They've committed to only $100 per door, um, which that is for the courtyard homes, so that, that's fantastic. It actually went down from last year as well too, from this previous year, 2021 to 2022. Um, the pressure washing courtyard, this is gonna be um, for your 170, which is the amount of homes that we have. Again, I talked about this briefly earlier in the meeting. Um, this covers for the soft wash. Uh, we do not allow the vendors to that bid on this project to actually walk on the tile roofs, and which I'm sure you can imagine, it's due to all the uh, um, damage that does occur when you let somebody walk on those roofs sometimes, okay? So they have to be extra careful. They, it does cover for them to actually use a lift or a cherry picker, as some of you call, um, to access the actual roofs and do the actual soft wash. Okay, this is also for all the um, lines in the driveways as well. Again, this is only for the courtyards, okay? Contract services, um, 606520, okay? I wanna spend a few extra seconds on this. Um, and I believe there was a chat question on this already too as well. Um, the feedback on this is that why can't we just terminate the contract? This contract was in place in 2014, okay? It was a 10-year contract, okay? That contract is still in effect until 2024, okay? Now, Charter Communications, which is Spectrum, okay, have already committed um, to renegotiating a new contract with better benefits, et cetera, um, if the board is willing to uh, when we transition early next year. Um, so this is what this covers. It's something that we cannot just 
cancel or terminate because that contract is in effect until 2024. Um, so we do have two more years, but how I stated before, the um, Charter Security Communications already did state and make clear that they are willing to renegotiate the actual contract um, come next year uh, when we transition over. Um, so hopefully we can get that done, maybe include Wi-Fi, include the DVR, um, so that at 200 megabits per second. So that that would be fantastic, but that's um, down the road. But this is what this covers. And no, unfortunately, it's part of your HOA assessment. Right now it's 3875 of your monthly HOA assessment that you pay, 3875 of that goes to the cable contract, okay? Um, annuals, oh, sorry, I apologize again, folks. Very touchy. There we go. The annuals, this is what the annuals planting under 60, 65, 65, 65, 24. This covers all your annual beds throughout the common areas. Um, as you notice, I believe right now we have marigolds, um, the orange and the yellow bloom um, out there, which um, I'm happy to say that your um, SLC, your Solo Vida Landscape Committee, um, they are actually in charge of the selection of the annuals. Um, there's a subcommittee um, from the SLC, from the Solo Vida Landscape Committee that actually picks the annuals and then works with the vendor, uh, which the vendor does give them a few choices um, to select from because we do want to use flowers that are going to last for three months at least because they are annuals. Um, so then that subcommittee from the SLC um, does pick and choose what annuals go in and, and, and get installed, okay? Your landscape home contract. This is the um, line item under 656525. This covers all of your landscape service at your home, okay? So all of floor lawn, what they do, your pruning, um, your shrub fertilization, your tree fertilization, your um, um, insect control, um, chinch bugs, um, your aphids, your mealy bugs, your white fly, um, your um, tree trimming, all that, your mowing, um, your edging, your, 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 your weed whacking, your blowing off, all that is covered under this line item. Okay, so that portion goes off. It includes um, fertilization program of four times a year. They do alternate from granular to liquid depending on the season. Um, so that covers floral lawn expenses um, under 65, 65, 26. That is your Cypress Parkway um, line item. This covers the boulevard from the entry north of Sola Vida that goes all the way east down the parkway to where Wawa is directly after that traffic light. There's a middle, uh, a, a middle island with some tall palm trees. That's the last section, the last section that we maintain under this GL line item, okay? This was something that was agreed upon years ago to where instead of being part of the villages assessment, monthly assessment, which would um, be on your responsibility to pay, this line item covers that. Okay, so we maintain the boulevard. That way we don't get charged the monthly assessments like the, um, like the outside villages do. Um, under 65, 65, 27, this is your landscape contract um, for the common areas. So all the boulevards, um, all the um, common areas that line Solovita Boulevard, Glendora, Bell Tower, San Clemente, Newport, um, and, sorry, Bell Tower, um, it covers all these services as they do in residential homes. It also covers the mowing in the Bahia, even though they're not irrigated, it still covers mowing in those areas as well. The only areas that do not get fertilized under this um, landscape contract, under this GL, is the common areas that have Bahia grass, but that is not irrigated. Um, there's no sense of fertilizing a, a grass that does not have irrigation, okay? Um, let's go on to your next one. Your palm tree trimming, this includes all your tall palm trees, guys. Um, this vendor um, comes in twice a year. Um, any palm tree, which if it's 16 feet of clear trunk, okay? So what that means 
is a palm tree from the ground where the trunk or bark starts up to the crown where the fronds begin to come out. If it's higher than 16 feet, these only get done twice a year. Okay, all the dead gets removed and the seed pods that um, can be removed are removed as well too. Okay, um, Floral on the landscaper only maintains the palm trees that are up to 16 feet of clear trunk as part of their monthly pruning services. Okay, that's when they go in there, take out the seed pods, any dead fronds, etc. Now, the questions regarding this, did you submit it? Um, why don't they trim my palm tree or my robolini um, if it's blocking um, the view from my house? Okay, floral lawn only trims the, the dead palm fronds or yellow or seed pods. Okay, that's the best horticultural practice that they follow. Now, if you as a homeowner want a robolini palm or a palm tree trimmed a little bit more aggressive because it is blocking your front window or your dining room window or, or, or something from your home, um, you can absolutely reach out to Florida and submit a work order. Um, come see um, Jennifer downstairs at the concierge desk across the concierge desk and put in that work order and they'll be glad to do that for you, okay? Um, but um, the mulching under 65, 6529, um, the same program that we had early this year, we will implement um, starting next year in January as well, as well which is the caretaker program. Um, many of you that have reached out to me, I've gone out to your homes and we checked the areas of concern. Yes, the mulch isn't new, guys, um, but when I start digging down in there and show you, um, it prevents that white cotton, almost like a cotton fungus, from showing up. Too much mulch is a bad thing as well, okay? That's why you only want to have two inches max. That's it, um, because um, if you start going to three and four inches, too much moisture is held then you're um, holding the moisture um, against that shrub, against that tree, and it's actually unhealthy for that tree, okay? So that does go a long way. Um, this year, we actually used over 23,000 cubic yards of mini pine bark mulch. So that is over 150 semi-trucks of mulch. So you can just imagine if we, did not implement this caretaker program, the amount of mulch wood would be using and financially, how much that would be increased, okay? Um, so that's why we implement the caretaker program just to help both ways. Beneficial for our landscape here. Um, also, it helps us financially as well. A power washing contract who is buddies, um, he agreed at the 114 mark to keep it the same. Even though there's quite a bit of area that it's being added on to him. Um, he actually um, feels that the process that he's using um, does basically a good job after each um, invoice gets submitted. As many of you know, um, some of you have even taken walks with me personally. We walk through the area together. We sign off on the invoice, then we process um, payment for that, okay? I definitely wanna be assured as well as um, Nigel who works for me, who over help, helps me oversee that as well. Um, that whenever we sign an invoice, folks, and we actually make sure that we at least put our eyes on it and it's good for us, it's good for processing, okay? Um, so that's what that covers, the management contract under 65, 65, 35. And that is based on $2 per door fee as was the previous year um, from 119.560 to 138.72. Again, this is billed out for $2 per door, okay? So control services, 65, 65, 50. Uh, we actually have the sheriff program here uh, working with us and we actually thank them as well. Um, they're very, they're great to work with, um, great team that they have. Um, we do have them coming in and um, doing um, visits, if you would, on site. Um, they do um, radar checks and certain locations um, with the help of and suggestions from your our Solo Vida um, Advisory Committee, our SAC SAC, um, with the feedback they give us, uh, we tend to put them at certain locations that actually help feedback from you as residents, um, areas of concern. Um, that's why we use the speed radar signs, which at this time are located in Venezia and Treviso, um, with the data, which I've half stated before, the data that 
is collected at each sign is conclusive proof that those radar signs, they do help. They do help remind us as we drive down, oh, I'm going 30 instead of 25. It, 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 it's a habit that it does help us change and hopefully it, it continues to. Um, but we also, that's in conjunction with the Polk County Sheriff that we have on site here, okay? Um, that's what your patrol service is covered is 65, 65, 50. Um, security contract, um, 65, 65, 51. Several questions again regarding this, guys. Um, I even had a gentleman come in here, uh, a resident that I've known for years, um, spend at least 45 minutes with me because he wanted to go down each hour by hour, each gate by gate, see exactly why they increase, you know, and, and that's great. Um, my door's always open um, for us to do that. Again, he spent around 45 minutes here with me. We went down each gate, added each hour, each man shift. Um, and I'm glad to say he was content with the information. He was happy with what information was given to him. Um, so it's on there explained. It covers all the Marigold gates. Uh, as we know, the main gate went to a second full-time shift that we have now. Um, this is just increase. That's typically where the GPS sends every guest in here. If you put in your address, typically it's going to send you to the main gate, which is the front entry. Okay, to help with that, we added that second full-time shift there. Um, so now you have two employees there to where if the guest line starts getting full, we're able to send them over to the resident lane. One of the employees from Vital can go out there, assist that guest, confirm they're on the actual guest list and allow them right through to help prevent backups. <clears throat> backups at the location. First, our construction gate, as many of you still call, which is at the parkway at the end of Solavita Boulevard and where it dead ends at um, Cypress Parkway. That was, but now is a full-time gate 24 seven. So now when, Residents come in through that gate if there's an issue with their plate read or they're getting a, a, a hit and it's not catching, that guard can come out and assist them, okay? So that's why we actually did that there as well too. The aquatic maintenance, it did drop tremendously. Um, quite few waterways are actually being transitioned over to the CDD, um, but either the PWCDD or the um, PCDD. Um, by the end of this year, um, the developer um, is working um, to get that done. So that's why our budget went a lot lower um, than it was um, this year. Um, fuel under 70, 70, 20. Um, this is covering your um, director of association side services. Um, just to assure you guys, the only time he uses his vehicle is when he is in Sola Vida. Now he does go out to Lowe's, to Home Depot, to our wood vendor, to our sign vendor that's outside of Sola Vida. Sometimes there's in Haines City, um, downtown Kissimmee and near St. Cloud by the Turnpike. We do have a few vendors there. Um, by having him go out there and pick up the um, material that we need to make the repair, that actually saves us around 150. So that, that's great. We rather use the fuel, which is 10, $15 for him to make those trips, okay? Instead of paying 100, 150 for shipping and delivery. So we definitely try to take advantage there as, as, as much as you can. Um, 70, 70, 30, um, this actually covers um, your um, inspection service that we have here in the admin services. Um, if many of you guys know, when you come to my office, up here on the wall, I have um, channel 732. As soon as I see that it goes down, I call a provider and make sure it gets back up as soon as possible. Um, sometimes when I don't have any residents here, I can hear the sound. Um, so that way, we, instead of you guys having to call us and say, hey, the movie that has bad sound, we try and catch that in advance as much as we can um, to actually nip that and address that as quickly as possible. Okay, electricity under 7740. Um, this covers, as, as you can see, all the association street lights, the lift station, irrigation controllers, um, your, your pathways and, and your car ways to have lights. Um, that actually covers it. Um, of course, we do allow a 4% allowance. Um, to be added on top just for increase, which Duke does do. Um, to make something clear, okay, there's a little bit of confusion about this. If you guys have any street lights that are out, okay, anywhere throughout the community, if you see it, let us know. Um, you can let security know. You can let myself know. You can know, let Raj, my admin assistant, know. 
you can let Shelly, our concierge, know. Um, what we have is we have a direct connection with Duke. Uh, we put in a work order. They confirm the actual work order. And typically now, typically, on average, within two, three days, that repair gets made. Okay. The only time the repair is delayed if there's an underground wiring issue. Okay. That's where, unfortunately, that's when it can take up to several weeks for us to get addressed. Okay. But just let us know, right? And, and in, if something that my maintenance team can take care of or a club maintenance team can take care of, uh, we'll have them check that out as well, too. Okay. Well, just please reach out and just let us know. I'm telephone under your 70, 70, 50. Um, that is um, your line item that covers all the association staff, et cetera, um, that they go up slightly. That is going to cover um, for the added maintenance technician that we have. That way we can reach out to him immediately if he's out in the field already doing something and something needs to be addressed right away. We can reach out to that um, technician and dispatch him to another area without having to wait for him to come back to the office and then dispatch him out again. Okay. Um, gatehouse utilities under 707100. It does cover all these six locations uh, from your water, your sewer, electrical, um, internet, which um, pest control and phone that covers that line item, that cost throughout the year. Okay. Um, and that is going to be it for the budget going through the GL. Um, hopefully it, it's, it made some one sense. Uh, well, now let me see if I can go ahead and there we go. Get everyone back up. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna start from the top and bottom, guys. I'm gonna take a few questions here. See. Rudy, I've pretty much answered everything in the chat. Do you okay. have your questions that were submitted? Yes, ma'am. If you go through okay. those that were submitted, I've pretty much answered most of the, the chat ones that have come through. Okay, so going through the, the uh, first line item is um, who uses the AEDs? Well, um, that was from a newer resident. The AEDs we actually have located throughout the community. Um, God forbid we have to use them. They have been used quite a bit. It has saved several lives, guys. So we are very grateful for the, for the AEDs. Again, it covers from replacing the pads, the batteries, um, the sensors. The boxes that are that the AED themselves are actually housed in. That's what that covers right now. As I stated, I believe we are at 75 now. Okay, um, pretty much. You hopefully I'm correct in saying this. Um, you can pretty much go through any community and there's an AED nearby. Okay, there are several um, new ones coming up next year just to help and and increase that count to where you shouldn't be more than 15, 20 seconds away. God forbid, again, you should need it from actually reaching one. Um, so that's where actually that um, goes through. The landscape replacement, again, I covered this earlier. Why did it stay the same? Again, that is based on the feedback from the landscaper and um, installing um, plant species that actually thrive better in our soils. Okay, so that's actually helping us to stay at the same where we're at. Um, who is the director of association site services? Is it still Matt McCoy? No, uh, Matt McCoy um, resigned from the position earlier this year, I believe in January, February, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Nigel McCullough, who I introduced you to officially um, a few weeks ago, um, he has actually come on board. He's taking that position. If you recall, Nigel joined the team um, back in December of 2020. As a compliance inspector, many of you um, guys know him and have become good friends with him. He's our now uh, our new director of association side services. He actually helps me um, actually um, oversee all the contractors, the floor along, the mulchers, the pressure washers, um, the painting guys, the tile roof washer in the courtyard. So he's the one that helps me and oversee all that. Um, he makes minor repairs um, like potholes. If you guys noticed, there'd be pothole on Torino and Village Drive. He made that repair. It's just a temporary repair. Okay, we do have Asphalt 365 coming in um, next week and doing all the pothole repairs that we have on site. Um, the animal trapping, what is animal trapping? Um, why do we have to pay for that? Well, as many of you know, unfortunately, um, we have wild feral hogs. They cause tremendous amount of damage. Um, we have residents that unfortunately, they get hit 
almost daily. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's very unfortunate. And I would like to say that it, it's easy to resolve the issue, but it's not, folks. Um, they are very smart animals, which some of you know. Um, they actually, if they have, if there's any sense of human or, or a, any kind of scent of animal, or uh, like, for instance, a dog that's in the area, they will not go near that trap. Even if it's baited with fresh cornmeal, they will not go near that bait. Very smart, smart animals. Um, so that the trapper does, there are pathways. If you go on Google Earth, you can see these fairly easy, but there are pathways, there are set the trails that these wild feral hogs go through, okay? So what he does, he goes deep into the, that, that wetland, set those traps, um, use chemical to clean it to where that hog doesn't smell it, and then catch them that way. So that again, very small animals. That's what we have to have to pay for that. Um, just keep this under control as much as we can. Even with that said, um, some of you residents that are on here, you, you know firsthand that if we go out there, replace your sod the very next day, you get hit that same night. So it's just money out the door. So the process is, if you do get a visit by these hogs, you reach out to us, we alert the trapper right away, we alert floral on our landscaper right away, and they actually have a system to where as soon as the trapper says, okay, this area is clear, you're good to go, floral on starts replacing sod as needed, okay, our clients do as well. So that's why we actually have to pay for that. Um, the um, pressure washing in the courtyards, that's another con um, question. Um, why do we pressure wash the actual um, courtyards and not all the homes? Right now, that's how we're set up in budget. Uh, the courtyards do pay a little higher fee uh, monthly. It's to cover, again, your pressure washing and the actual um, painting in those areas, okay? Next question, um, what will happen? This is a very common question, actually. What will happen with the, um, oh, sorry, wrong page, with the developer assessment expenses? When he leaves, well, when a developer leaves, when Taylor Morrison leaves, that income says will be gone. There's no more lots left. The developer built out their last home. They're out. So that developer assessments line item, which we projected at around 450,000, that's no longer going to be there, folks. Okay, so that will be that will disappear once the developer builds their um their last home. Okay, why do we pay mileage reimbursement? Uh, mileage reimbursement, again, as stated before, when it went to the mileage reimbursement GL line item, that's to cover our um, inspectors that we have. Um, the follow-up on painting, when you let us know, hey, my painting is done, they go out there. If they use their personal vehicle, and only if, when they use their personal vehicle, they log in the hours, they document what address they went to, so that way we know exactly where they went to, and then those mileage, that dollar amount gets reimbursed back to them. Okay, the security contract, other question, common question, why did it go up? Um, as stated before, um, we did increase the shifts um, from full-time shift. We added a full-time shift to the main gate. We did make our parkway gate a 24 seven gate now. So that way we have them there. Every gate is, is manned. We have employees at every gate, okay? Um, so that's why that contract was not. Um, why did our aquatic um, maintenance contract go down. As stated earlier, um, several waterways um, or ponds or lakes, whatever you want to call them, um, they are in transition phase right now going over either to the PWCDD or the PCDD. Um, so that's why our um, budget did go down quite a bit there. Okay. And the lastly, the most commonly asked question so far, the cable contract, why can't we terminate the cable contract and save those $38? Again, that cable contract is in place, was signed back in 2014, back when Avatar was here, um, and is a 10-year deal, okay? So right now, we are with that cable contract until 2024, okay? However, Charter Communications, who is Spectrum, did state that they would go over and renegotiate the contract if we wanted to. Um, that's basically all the common questions that I have. Um, if I miss some on the emails, I do apologize about that, folks, but I will have every single one of them downloaded and uploaded on the website for you to see and read at your leisure, as well as this um, video here that we're recording now. Um, Mandy, is there anything else?
can't, nope, I think we're good. I think I've pretty much answered most in the chat. Um, there's just some, uh, so when will the, the club budget will be available? Um, we're finalizing that. So once we've start finalized that, we will get that posted. Okay, so, and then there's one last question, the difference between what the developer is paying versus what the homeowners are paying. So developers, um, once turnover happens, the developers will pay the same assessments as the homeowners do with the reduction for cable because they're not gonna be receiving cable on a vacant lot. Um, those homes will not be paying into um, the landscaping, again, because they're not going to be receiving the landscaping, and they will not be paying into the reserve. So anything that is a, an assessment that is benefited to the, the home, they will not be um, paying. But uh, and I think it works out right now about $122 to $123 um, per developer lot. Um, and those will commence as at February 1st, and they will be billed monthly the same way that homeowners are billed. And they are not required to pay into reserves. Developers are not required to pay into the reserves. Um, that's, that's homeowners that pay into those. Okay, um, as a friendly reminder, um, November 12th is your annual meeting. It's also gonna be the, um, the board of directors meeting um, to approve the proposed budget that we discussed here um, today uh, for the year 2022. Again, that is November um, 12th, um, which is in the Starlight Ballroom. I um, hope you guys can join us. Um, that is also gonna be um, recorded as well. Um, and also thanks to our um, um, technology guru, um, Brandon Payne, also gonna be on channel 732. Uh, for some of you residents who rather view it at home on channel 732, it's also going to be there as well. Okay. And with other than that, I'm going to go ahead and um, end the meeting. I want to thank everyone for joining us here. Um, thank you again for coming out. And Mandy, if you have anything else, I believe we can go ahead and adjourn this meeting. Yeah. Before you close the meeting out, Rudy, can you actually go in and copy the text, the chat, just in case it doesn't save in the recording? And then at least you've got that just before you close out the session. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. Thank you, everybody. If you have additional Thank questions, you please email them to Rudy. Thank you. Have a blessed day. You guys take care.